Replit just announced a new integration with Notion. In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I'm so excited about this pairing. I'm going to walk you through an example of what I've built leveraging both Replit and Notion. And then I'm going to walk you through the process of setting this up on your own. This is exciting for a couple of reasons. Number one is I already house a lot of my own data in Notion. So it's great to get that data and out onto a front end. Two is I have applications that have certain functionality in which I would want to write back to a Notion database. And so this new Replit integration allows you to do both read in real time what's in that Notion database to update what's on your website and to write back to a database when something happens on that front end. I'm going to show you an example of something that I built using Notion and Replit. I built out a customer support page that has two Notion databases. One is FAQs, just a list of questions and answers pertaining to a fictional product called Serenity Flow. And another database that tracks support tickets that come in from the front end. This is the support portal or the support page for Serenity Flow. It's a fictional meditation app here. A user can come and browse through some of the questions that the team has for them. And they can read here as well. They can search and they can also chat with an assistant so they can say, hey, you know, what, what? <laughs> languages are supported and our AI assistant should come back with, I don't know, like English now, but German in 2026. Perfect. The other thing that, that a user might want to do is sub submit a ticket. So user can go here and say test user and email at test.com and then just say my app is crashing help not helpful but you can submit that ticket okay that's just the front end so let me show you what's happening on the back end on notion i have two databases faqs here that have all of the information that is listed on on this website and so the neat thing about this is that my entire team will have access to this so they can update it if they want. And if I need to update this in real time, so if I just change that there and I go back to my, my website and update this, I should see that change in the text below. So here's that new punctuation that I added here. So just a very straightforward way to update the reference material for the website and just having it all here is super, super helpful. The other cool thing is that when this is updated, the context for the chat bot is also going to be updated. So if I look here for languages and I say, okay, here's the answer, but instead of German, let's say Spanish is coming in 20, 20, 26, I can go back here and I can say what languages are supported. And then recall that earlier it said English and then German's going to launch soon. Now it says Spanish is going to be launching soon. I just made one change to this database and boom, that's automatically being reflected here in my context for this website and it's already being reflected in the context for this AI chatbot. That's really cool. That's going to save you a lot of time. The alternative to this would be to set up your own database and then make changes to that database, which you can do. And Replit makes it pretty easy to set that up. But it's just so much easier, especially for this contextual type of data that may not be changing too often, to just have this in a Notion database. Earlier, you noticed that I submitted a, a support ticket. OK, so where did that go? Well, that went into my support tickets database. So here it is, just dropped um, just a moment ago. And the cool thing about this is number one, it's writing from my application into my Notion database. And because this is in my Notion workspace, I can click into this and I can start tagging people. So I might say like, hey, like George, like, uh, do you know the problem? 
here and then start like going through addressing of this particular problem. The other cool thing here is that Notion has a number of automations that you can turn on for different actions in this database. So here I have a couple of automations. Number one is when something comes in, I'm going to get an email for this. So it's going to send me an email. And then the other automation that I was thinking about putting here is a Slack notification. But you can do other things as well. You can have sort of an autoresponder. You can have a custom automation that maybe reads the question and it comes up with some context, some information. You can do a lot because Notion has a really nice suite of automation functions here. And they make webhooks available as well. So you just have a lot to do here. So a lot of reasons to, to want to have this in Notion. If you're just starting off your business and you want to keep it lean, I think this is like a really nice, tight, fully functional support portal that is going to allow you to keep your customers up to date and also work with them and also work with your team. I think this is a great way to get started. I want you to try to set this up for yourself. So I'm going to walk you through this particular process. The way that I put this together was working in Replit and in particular working with Agent in Replit and just prompting Agent to help me build this out. And I just was describing what I wanted and was checking the functionality around the chat and the submission of the ticket and ultimately got to this really nice spot. So in order to save you some time, I've created a couple of templates for you to leverage to get this up and running on your end as fast as possible. I've got a number of instructions for that. We're going to do a couple of things. First, we're going to duplicate our Notion template. So here's the version that I have but we're, I'm going to have you create your own version of that page because you're going to want to have your own databases. Number two is we're going to create a Notion integration that is going to allow Replit to talk to our Notion databases and also is going to allow us to access certain databases with the Notion API. Third thing is we're going to add that integration to our Notion page. We're going to get an open AI key and we're going to remix our app. We're going to configure our database. And then if we have time, we'll configure our AI assistant as well. It's all documented here. I'll drop a link to this below. The first thing that we want to do is create a duplicate of the Notion databases. So I'm going to go up here and hit duplicate. Then I'm going to add that to my workspace. So now you'll have this template in your Notion workspace. So we can change that to task. The next thing that we want to do is to create a new integration for this particular project. Click on new integration, drop in your workspace. This should be an internal type of integration. So let's name this test. Let's call it Z test. And save that. Then we'll be sent to this configuration page. And what we care about is this internal integration secret, which you'll show. And I'll be deleting all of these after I'm done with this video, but I can just show you what that looks like. And so you want to copy this and then just have this handy because we're going to use this a little bit later. And this is going to be our notion integration secret. Next thing that we want to do is we want to go back to our Notion page and add that integration into connections. So if you click here, the three dots, you go down to connections and we look for that, that integration that we just set up, Z-Test, I believe it was Z-Test, yep. So we're going to confirm that. So now that integration has access to this page. So it's going to be able to look for these underlying databases. The next thing that we're going to do is remix the Replit template. So click here on remix this template. And we could just say test there and say use this template. Replit is going to create a copy 
of this and notice that the first prompt that we're getting here is around missing secrets. That's because my secrets that were in my instance are not being ported over. You have to supply your own secrets. So we do that by going to the secrets tool, clicking on that and then populating our secrets. So I have my open AI key. I can add that. I have my new integration key. Notion integration key, so I'll drop that in there. And then the new page URL, I'll just go here to the customer admin, so customer support admin page that we just created. Go back here and drop it there and add that secret. And then I have a prompt here for agent, so you'll just copy this and go back to agent and drop that in and agent will one make sure that it has the right secrets in place and then it will try to pull the new database ids from this new notion page and start setting up the backend plumbing so that your new application can talk to your particular notion databases so let's give agent a moment to do that and we'll come back it looks like agent was able to set up our new replit with our new notion databases here so again replit agent is looking in our new notion url pulling out the databases putting that in the appropriate place in the files so that we can read and write from those databases and i would just test that out so if we go here to getting started and i should see my Q and A pop up. And so if I go to my new database of Q and A, so how to get started, what is Serenity? And I just say like, um, just add, you can add that there to what is Serenity. Then if I go back to, let me close that out. Go back here. We'll summarize, uh, we'll refresh that and we can see the change there as well. So that seems to be working. We'll test the AI chatbot and say, is this app free? Just to make sure that works. Yes. Okay. So that seems to be working. Then we'll check the submit a ticket functionality. And we can say test in new DBs, test at gmail.com. And then this is a test. This is a test and we'll submit that. And this should pop up in our new support ticket and bam, there it is. So that works well. So at this point, you should have this up and running. It should be talking to your own database and you'll want to update all of this information, question, category, answer, so that it's pulling in the relevant information for sure. The other thing that you wanna do is to configure your AI assistant. So this AI assistant has a particular prompt that is hard coded, but you can change that pretty straightforwardly by following this prompt and supplying it with your particular information so that it updates and talks about your brand, your services, et cetera. And you can also modify the tone and things like, and things, things like that. And then once you're done deploying it, it's pretty straightforward. You can deploy this and and choose an option and have this live out in the world. You can also link it to your website as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I am really excited about combining Notion and Replit. Again, Notion is the easiest way to stand up databases. Replit is the easiest way to go from idea to an app. And then when you bring these together, I just think you can have an awesome combination. So try out this template. Let me know if you have any issues and I'm curious to see what you're able to build. Feel free to share with me on LinkedIn or X where you can find me at Manny Bernabe and go out and build something cool. Talk to you soon.